The Lord be with you. Let us pray. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for your mercies and for your grace. We thank you for being with us in the first part of this program at ATC Waterfront. We are now, Lord, in your kingdom, the Okuchiri kingdom, for the flag off of the second phase of the internal roads. Lord, we commit this assignment into your hand. We pray that your presence will be here with us and that you will, you will direct the affairs of this program so that at the end your name alone will be glorified. Your people blessed and the government of River State remains solid. Heavenly Father, be with us. Continue with us and also end with us. In Jesus' name we pray. Your Excellency, Yeso Meze Wawike, C-O-N, G-S-S-R-S, Power of Sports Africa, Governor of River State. Your Excellency, Dr. Mrs. Palibo Hari Banigo, D-S-S-R-S, Deputy Governor of River State. Our guest of honor, Yitayo Jegede, Senior Advocate of Nigeria, former Attorney General and Commissioner for Justice, on those State People's Democratic Party, Gubernatorial candidate 2016 and 2020, the Right Honorable Ikui Owaji Bani, DSSRS, Speaker of River State House of Assembly, Your Excellency Sa Celestino Mehia, GSSRS, former Governor of River State, Your Excellency Engineer Tala Ikuru, DSSRS, former Deputy Governor of River State, Chief Dan Obi, National Vice Chairman, PDP South South Zone, Ambassador Desmond Akawa, Chairman People's Democratic Party River State, distinguished senators, members of the National and State Assembly here present, the Right Honorable Austin Opara OFR, DSSRS, former Deputy Speaker, House of Representatives, members of the State Executive Council, Your Royal Majesties and Royal Highnesses here present, Chief Ferdinand. I beg your pardon, special elder statesmen, special advisors, permanent secretaries, chairman of Krika local government area, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the flag off of Okochiri Internal Roads Phase 2 to be constructed by the government of River State. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, at this point, may I invite for the presentation of Kola, His Royal Majesty, King Ateke Michael Tom J.P., Amanabo of Okochiri, the Sekuro of Niger Delta. Come this side, come, 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 come. Where is she now? Come here. 
Welcome remarks, the Chairman of Krika Local Government Area, Honorable Akuro Tobin. Your Excellency, the Executive Governor of River State, Chief Barrister Zemanya Sanwike. Our Excellency, the Deputy Governor of River State, a special guest for today's business. Your Excellency, the former Governor of River State, Speaker of House of Assembly, Chairman of PDP River State, Your Excellency, permit me to stand on all existing protocols. Let me also welcome here the Amayanabo of Okochuri Kingdom, King Ategetom and other traditional rulers, chiefs, youths, and others. Your Excellency, we are here today 
in Okoshori Kingdom. Okoshori is the land of peace and love. Okoshori has been existing for over 600 years. Your Excellency, let me say this without any fear or favor. Sometime in 2007, the present Minister of Transport came to Okoshiri. He couldn't come in out of fear and cowardice. He said Okoshiri is an evil forest. Your Excellency, when you became Governor of River State in 2015, you made promises. You came into Okoshiri and saw that the people of Okoshiri are suffering. There was no road, no drainage, no light whatsoever. And you fulfilled your promises by giving Okoshiri 11 kilometers road in your first tunnel. You know. Yes, let me give you a bit report that this 70 kilometers, this 11 kilometers road you embarked that over 70 youths are really enjoying from it, from it. They are entrepreneurs, taking care of their children in schools. So, Your Excellency, today you are here again for the flag off of the phase two for Kuchiri. I want to stand, Your Excellency, to welcome you and your entourage for the flag off. Thank you and God bless you. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, to thrill us with some traditional dance steps, may I invite the area cultural display.
Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, please can we put our hands together for the Ivrea cultural display. May I now invite the Igbo masquerade of a culture.
can we put our hands together for Eagle Masquerade of Okochiri? May I now invite the Watam Cultural Display. Yeah. 
Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, please can we put our hands together for the Wartam Cultural Display.
Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, at this point, may I invite to give the project description. The special advisor to the governor on special projects. George Kelly D. Alabo. Your Excellency, the Executive Governor of River State. Your Excellency, the Deputy Governor of River State. The most distinguished speaker of the Riverside House of Assembly. Your Excellency, our special guests of honor, ATAO, JGD SAN. Your Excellency, I beg your leave to stand on protocols already established. Your Excellency were warned here again on the soil of Okochiri for the flag off of the Okochiri Internal Road Phase 2. This road is 5.642 kilometers and has a width of 7.3 meters. The road has 11.24 meter length of drains, meaning that on both sides of the road, we are going to have drains. Now the drains will be 60 cm, 60 cm, that's 600 millimeters in, in internal dimensions, with a height of 600 millimeters, the base concrete inclusive 750 millimeters, overall width of 900 millimeters. And so we're going to be having about 11.2 kilometers of those trains spread across different streets and these communities. The road is going to spread across about nine streets. The longest of it all is the Catholic Road here, which is about 1.6 kilometers. Your Excellency and um, invited guests here, you will agree with me that constructing a road in um, the coastal areas is one of the most expensive things to do. You can compare that with the cost of projects in the upland areas. It is almost like two or three times more than the cost of constructing roads in the upland areas. You might just be seeing the soil here. You might not know that so many things have gone on the ground before the asphaltic concrete is laid or paved. I'm going to take you through a section of what the road looks like. We were very careful about the design of this project because we know this is a coastal area, this is a difficult terrain, and then we're sure we're, able, we're going to be doing our uh, um, soil tests very well. But as God will have it, the Californian bearing ratio test to test the soil bearing capacity and the Atabag limit test to test the plasticity index or liquidity index of the soil was properly done, and we're able to discover that we do not need that much fill or soil replacement than we needed, and so we're able to save some costs on this project. And so we'll be having an average of about 650 millimeters of soil replacement with granular material, specifically sand, and then soil, stand, soil, soil cement stabilization of about 150 millimeters, and then we're going to have 150 millimeters of stone base, and then 100 millimeters asphaltic concrete pavement. Specifically, we'll be having a binder cost of 60 mm and a wearing cost of 40 mm. Your Excellency, the contract duration for this project is 12 months, and I'm believing God because we're fast-tracking this project. In 10 months, this project will be completed because the contractor has been mobilized. Thank you and God bless. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, to make a, con a remark on behalf of the contractor, Gascon Limited, may I invite the quantity surveyor, or Seth Sekibo. Your Excellency, the Executive Governor of River State, the Deputy Governor of River State, our distinguished guests, let me please respectfully again stand on existing protocols for want of time. We want to thank His Excellency for the confidence he has reposed in us 
in giving us not one project, but two projects in this second channel. The idea is that we will do all our best to ensure that we meet with the project specifications and then do the works as designed by BSP. Our target also is to mobilize massively for the drain works. If you look at the signage in front of you, you will see that virtually all the roads, we are seriously working on the drains because that is the most important aspect of this project. Once the drains are captured, the rest is the earthworks, and then we can overlay and then get out of sight for the Excellency Command Commission. Your Excellency, again, I want to thank you because what you have done has gone a long way to make a statement that you truly love indigenous contractors. We are doing our best to meet up with the likes of the Julius Beggar, and I think we will be able to meet it up in Jesus' name. <laughs> thank you, Your Excellency, and once again, we want to appreciate you. Your Excellency, I want to put on record that you are leaving your name in the signs of times, and that is the most important thing. Heavens will remember you for good in Jesus' name. Thank you. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, may I invite the great famous dancers to thrill us with their dance steps. Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, please can we put our hands together for them? Thank you. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, may I at this point respectfully invite to give a speech the Governor of River State, His Excellency Nyeso Ezewawike, Deputy Governor, and a special guest of honor, Ayatayo Jigede, Senior Advocate of Nigeria, the Excellency, the former Governor of the State, the right honorable speaker, please, for uh, the want of time, let me observe the established protocol. Uh, 
for time is far spent. I didn't know that we would spend like this in our local government. Uh, Abiyanko uh, plotted it in such a way that we'll be here today. I don't look at my time to trade, but God will not be allowed yet to succeed in everything he's doing here today. We must go back home on time. But first of all, let me thank the Honorable uh, I think it turns. Uh, I want to say clearly to those who want to understand that uh, when we came to run for election in 2014-2015, I came to see him here. He said he also is going to run for governorship. I said, which state? He said, uh, River State. I said, okay. I said, why not we do it? He said, as it is sweet to me, it is sweet and too. Do you know what it means when people are calling me Excellency? So <laughs> we cannot stop them on many they call an Excellency, Excellency. But the truth of the matter, like I said, is that he agreed to work with us. And to the glory of God today, all of us are working together and see just like what the chairman of the local government said, before they thought that here was an evil forest, who said it, I do not know. You hold the chairman, uh, responsible. But look at where we are. I don't know how many communities will be lucky to have a place designed like this to have internal roads. We've done the first phase and now we're doing the second uh, phase. I think it must be very grateful to Almighty God. And uh, we'll continue to respect traditional institutions. And that is it. That is it. Forget about our country. Our country is just a place in Africa. They are not playing politics with us. You think we are not in Africa? We are not here. We are in Africa. Okay. We are in Africa. But when you are here in Africa, we think that we are in a different place, like the special uh, guest of honor asked me. Yeah, this is Africa. Not just Africa. Fully Africa. But you know, they have this, I'm an above, I'm an above this, I'm an above that, I'm an above this, I'm an above that. And uh, he's one of those lucky Amanda boss that have brought development to his own uh, area. So I want to commend the uh, thank you Trump. Special guest of honor, luckily you are here. Uh, you were when we did the sound field that call reclamation and you are here today uh, this afternoon. You know, like I said, the problem we have in our politics is insincerity. The problem, the problem we have in our politics, nobody wants to, you know, fulfill promises that are being made to our people. We come to our people, we tell them we'll do this, left hand and center, A, B, C. At the end of the day, the people will vote for you. And what comes out of it? Excuses, excuses, excuses. But the people of Okochi will agree with me that I promised them I was going to do Okochi roads. And we have come here before, we have fulfilled the first phase, we have done the second phase. What else will I do? What else will I promise? I promise you and I've done it. So I think you deserve it because you also agreed to support us and you supported uh, us. And that's what politics is uh, all about. You give me, I give you. You fall for me, I fall for you. You bend for me, I bend for you. So that's what politics is all about. So I want to thank you sincerely and to say that of the local government, people have gotten too much from me. They have gotten too much from me. Even when Abiyah was just saying, I don't think that uh, uh, Abiyah is there. Actually, I don't know whether he actually the first, second, or third, or fourth. I didn't see the actual work in it today when we went to uh, reclamation of Lando. I thought they would have done the poetry get and come out. So this is you are telling me, Potakot, it's just for telling sake. But sincerely, let me commend the contractor. Let me commend them. I never knew they were indigenous contractors. In my first time, we gave them a job at uh, Transamadi, Lembo areas, in Potakot local government. And uh, like the MD said, fulfilled it. And I have no doubt, I have no doubt that they are going to do this. And let me tell you, I'm not going to owe any of you. 
If you are giving 12 months, please do the job in 10 months. I'll give you. In fact, let me tell you, as I go back, after this flagging off, I will end up by the stewardship account on the 10th to 11th or 12th of July. Most of the contractors will have to pay you again so that you can complete this work. We don't need time to say 12 months. What is the 12 months when the body is there? Uh, but don't be angry with me, the special guest of honor, maybe. People may not be getting the money. I'm not getting the money from anybody, but it is by God. God has planned it in such a way that it will not lack. So people say, Where is we can get the money? Uh, believe in God, money will come to you. But if you don't believe in God, you will lack. I will not lack because I'm a child of God. I will not lack. And this state will not uh, lack. How you manage your resources, how prudent you are, is key. And I've told this state that, look, I'm a second time governor. If I don't like my people, if I don't want to do any development, all this money I've seen, I would divert it to play national uh, politics. But I said, no. I mean, uh, this state, we must do everything we can. You cannot develop your state. No outsider can develop your state other than the people from this uh, state. We have no federal intervention, nothing. So what do we do? We have to come back home and make sure that we help and see that our people are happy. So I want to commend the people of Okrika, the political leadership, all of you, the way you have supported our party, the PDP, continue to do so. And I can assure you, we will never disappoint you. We will not do that. I know that we are not those people who will abandon you and run to Abuja and stay. PDP is one family in this state, and that the way God has made it, PDP will continue to pursue the affairs of this state. If you like, bring the American FB bombers to come. It will not work. It will not work. So, thank you very much. And I'm of our culture. Let me also thank you. Chairman of the River State Traditional Rulers, I want to thank you immensely. From one local government to the other local government, I begin to wonder where do you get your strength at your age. And uh, when I saw the one time people perform, it, I was thinking what you are planning to do in the ancient city of Opopo on Saturday, where we we'll come and tell you the truth and nothing but the, and nothing but the truth. So let me invite the special guest of to please do us a favor and talk to us and flag off the construction of the second phase of our culture in Tamaros to the glory of God. Thank you and God bless you. Your Excellency, the Amibu Governor of uh, River State, Governor Wiki, Commander of the Order of the Niger, Your Excellency, the Deputy Governor, your Excellency, the former Governor of River State. Your Excellency, the former Deputy Speaker, Right Honorable Okwara. The leaders of our party, distinguished uh, members of the National Assembly, both past and present, and the good people of Okotiri. Let me also recognize the Chairman of the Traditional Council of Chiefs in River State for your support as acknowledged by the Governor himself. I will start from the point of commendation. For me, this is a learning process coming to River State to see what the Governor is doing. Like I said, when we were flagging off the reclamation of land, I said, you love him, you hate him, you cannot ignore him. And I must thank you for the leadership that you are providing, not only for PDP, but for the young generation of politicians in Nigeria. I am assured that, by God's grace, the future is bright. Let me thank you and commend you for standing firm for this choice of projects because the choice of projects that you make today 
will impact on the welfare of our people and the people of River State, and by extension, Okrika people in the next few years. You are a futuristic person. You are a person that is very practical. When the special advisor on project was speaking, and I must commend him, he gave the details of the length of the road, the nature of the road, and we can see what we have right now. And we are hopeful that come in the next 10 months, we will be celebrating the commissioning of these internal roads. I, at this point, congratulate the people of Okotiri for the second phase. There can be no second phase on, unless there is a first phase. And this is a continuation of the good work of the governor himself and the PDP as a political party. Mr. Governor, a few months ago, I was here with your colleague, the governor of uh, Oyo State, who also is a performing governor, like all PDP governors, like yourself. And I'm talking about those who are genuine PDP governors, not those who will, for ready excuses, decide to move from one party to the other. The truth of it is that Nigeria is looking for a new generation of leaders those who can take this country to the promised land. And I must commend you for leading the light, and God will continue to help you. I encourage you, Mr. Governor, to continue to move away, ahead undeterred, unperturbed, unintimidated, with your strength, with your vision, to continue to create a new landscape of leadership and raise the bar of development in this country. I commend the people of um, Okrika generally because Mr. Governor said that Okrika is a very large area, whether it's uh, Kochiri or where we're coming from. You all are a great community that has given a lot of support to His Excellency, the Governor, and by extension, the PDP. I pray that by the grace of God, you will continue to see more development in this land and the uh, River State will continue to be a leading light in this country. River State is uh, the resource base of Nigeria, and I'm not surprised that the governor is doing so well. There are other governors who have difficulty even in paying salaries. But you are paying salaries, you are paying pensions, and you are developing your state. History will judge you right. And I commend you for putting your foot in the sands of time, and I know that history will record you favorably. I commend and I appreciate the people of River State for producing a son like this that we are all very proud of. And let me tell you, people do not realize what they have unless they lose it. Governor Wike is known all over the country, is commended by those who believe in genuine development of this nation. Let me stop here. And let me at this point uh, thank you for all you are doing for your people and what I pray you will do for this country by the grace of God. At this point, may I take this singular privilege and this opportunity by the grace of God in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit, to flag off the Okochiri Internal Roads Phase 2 and to commend the contractor Gascon Limited and congratulate you in advance for delivering this project well ahead of time. Thank you very much and God bless you.